Well, well, well. Our recent video about Scav Karma really took off. Not only did it get quite a bit more views than average on YouTube, but it also caused an explosion of new members over on our Discord server. If you'd like to talk Tarkov, group up with people, or just chat and share some memes, a link for the Discord is in the description. In the Scav Karma video, I mentioned that if you guys wanted to hear more about what I believe is the absolute best use for your Scav to let me know. And to put it lightly, you let me know. So without any further delay, this is by far the most effective use for your Scav to generate massive amounts of rubles. So good that it's borderline broken. There's a lot of maps that Tarkov players will recommend you scav on. Reserve to fight PMCs and Raiders, Interchange with its huge amount of loose loot and the slim chance to find a GPU, and some just stick with the maps they know best, like Customs. But in my experience, after scaving on each of these maps hundreds of times, nothing comes close to the profit you can generate on Shoreline. For a scav run to be profitable, you need two things. First and most obvious is the available high tier loot. You need to choose a map that has easily accessible opportunities to loot that isn't just pliers and measuring tape. And second, and most importantly, you need to survive. If you die before you can extract, it doesn't matter what you found, and that scav run is ultimately a waste. Reserve, for example, offers huge opportunities for raider kits and military loot, but with the chances of encountering hostile AI, hostile player scavs, and PMCs being very high, your survival rate may be low. What Shoreline lacks in exhilarating gunfights and intense gameplay, it more than makes up for with an abundance of hidden stashes that commonly produce high tier loot items, tier 6 armor, high quality helmets, and even a chance at a few holy grail items, like GPUs. And while there may be some exceptions, player scavs on this map tend to be more laid back and friendlier, and PMC encounters are extremely rare. The first thing you need to do is analyze this stash map. You may pause the video on this map, or a link to an interactive map is in the description of this video. If you don't know where any of the stashes are, or are having a hard time locating the stashes even with a map in a live raid, go into an offline raid with your PMC and carefully study each stash location and commit it to memory. To effectively make a huge amount of money, you're going to want to hit each of these stashes in order of nearest to where you spawn to nearest to which extract you intend to take. I typically take note of where I spawn, then imagine a line that divides shoreline into two halves, right down the middle. Or imagine the river near the hydroelectric station being that line. If I spawn on the right or left half, I will try to loot all of the stashes on that side of the map, unless one or two stashes would require an unreasonable amount of time running. From there, hit each stash in order, then extract. Here's an example scav run. Depending on how much time is left in raid, and how much time you want to spend in the raid, you can cross the center line of the map and attempt to loot a very high amount of stashes. There's nothing wrong with that, and I've done that many times myself. Once you learn these stashes, keep running this map, and over time, I promise you that you will collect some very rare items. Finding hex grid armor, slicks, high-end helmets, and high-end guns is not uncommon. And every once in a while, I even find a GPU in one of these stashes. But stashes isn't the only loot you can find. Along the way, there are some weapon and ammo containers, as well as some loose loot opportunities and a few key locations. Not only that, but if you check a few frequently traveled PMC hotspots, such as the weather station, pier, and cottages, you can also loot a few safes if they haven't been hit already, and sometimes even find the bodies of PMCs or scab bosses that haven't been looted yet. But if pure profit per hour and a high survival rate is your goal, Avoid these areas altogether to decrease your chance you'll encounter a PMC or a bad Breaky, and focus entirely on the stashes.
As you can see, I encountered no danger and made it out with a very valuable haul. Here's another example run, but on the opposite side of the map. Avoid the health resort. Before the dynamic loot changes, there was a very slim chance you could find a lead X in a few spots, but I've not seen one in a very, very long time. There's also a huge chance to encounter hostile scavs and PMCs here, so the risk is generally not worth the reward. But if you absolutely must stop here, the admin building is your best bet. Once I commit the stashes to memory and learned every location, I found that I could generate multi-millions in just a day or two. And depending on how often you run your scav, it's absolutely possible to make 10 million or more in one week. If you are struggling to make money in Tarkov, this is hands down the most effective way to generate large sums of money with little to zero risk. There is one other map with a huge amount of stashes, and that's Woods. But in my testing, the competition for these stashes from other player scavs was pretty intense. And while you will have to run a lot in Shoreline, I found that raids generally lasted quite a bit longer on Woods. So to save you time, I think that Shoreline is the best.
And that's it. It's really that simple. If you're struggling to find these stashes, hop into my Twitch stream and ask me in chat to show you some. I have no problem whatsoever pointing them out to you guys while I'm live. A link for my stream is in the description and I stream most weekdays in the evening, Eastern Standard Time. Also, consider joining our Discord to get automatic alerts for new videos and whenever I go live, as well as becoming a new member of our excellent community. You know, this video reminds me. I think a complete guide to making money in Tarkov is just about due. I'm going to get to work on that video, and I'll be posting it soon. But until then, I'm Jeff with EUL Gaming. Good luck out there.